Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, uh, I think I told you guys that I was expecting a beer barrel package. I think I misspoke and said Amazon. Amazon don't ship beers. UPS sent me that notice. And this is what came. Uh, Hacker Shore Weiss Beer. Guys, I am pretty sure I reviewed this, but now they are canning their beers instead of putting them in bottles. And I was contacted uh, by uh, Kelly D. Vincentis and I uh, wanted to know if I was wanting to uh, review the new can version and I said absolutely. So uh, they sent me two of them as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm going to review one and I'm going to give the other one to the other half for her to enjoy. Uh, it says here in a note from her or him, uh, Kelly can be a man or a woman. I'm not sure if it's a uh, man or a woman, so I apologize not knowing that information. And it says, thank you for your interest in Hacker Shore. As you know, Hacker Shore launched its popular white beer in 16.9 ounce cans. Big can. Uh, in the U.S., just in time for National Beer Day, which, beer day, which is January the 24th. Uh, and that's coming up quickly. Today is the 22nd. Uh, and we're pleased to send you the enclosed samples for your review. The new lightweight cans feature an updated new look celebrating the brand's unique 600-year heritage and tradition. 600 years they've been brewing beers, guys. You think they got it figured out? Probably so. The new cans also make it easy to travel with your favorite Bavarian brew without compromising on taste. And they sent an official press release here along with it and has a lot of information here. I'm, it's full page. I'm not going to read it. Guys, uh, this is a very, very tasty beer uh, from what I recall when I reviewed it before. Uh, I didn't go back and look and see when I reviewed it, but it has been a while back, uh, and I wanted to do the new can version. Uh, and very updated, uh, completely new label, uh, and it is a printed up can, it looks like to me. Uh, and on the bottom of it, it has a canned on date of December 10th of 2019, and they want you to have it by December 10th of 2020. So they're giving it a year shelf life. This is not a huge beer, a 5.5 percenter. Uh, so uh, they're saying this, it will keep for a year. So uh, I'm not going to argue with that. They've been doing it 600 years. They should know. Uh, and, and of course, uh, these guys are out of Germany. It says right there on the can, brewed in Germany. Uh, so, and it's a year-round offering according to Beer Advocate, and they are ranking at number eight in the world. So, uh, it may be uh, better than that to me. I mean, uh, uh, if you've been brewing beers for 600 years, uh, you pretty much have got it dialed in by now. So, uh, let's see. Uh, like I said, I didn't go back and look and see what I gave it for a grade or anything. We're going to review, review this like I've never had it before, guys. But I am a, I am a fan of white, white beers, uh, which are wheat beers. Uh, the only drawback to that is it's only a 5.5 percenter. Uh, and I usually don't buy that low ABV beers anymore. They're, you know, if you want to session them, you could. So, uh, uh, 12 IBUs according to Untapped. So, uh, Let's find out what this one is going to bring to the table, guys. I'm looking forward to this. I got my wheat beer glass out. And I'm not going to pour it aggressive because these styles of beers usually are very carbonated and they produce a big head. And this one is not disappointing me. It is already producing two fingers of head already and I haven't got a half a glass. Very cloudy coming out, and I am not going to get it all in this glass, guys. And you see how easy I'm pouring this. These beers are usually very, very carbonated. And 
and I apologize. I would I was hoping to get it all in this glass, especially swirling around and getting all the goodies out of the bottom of the can here. Uh, I will get it all in there before I go off camera. Uh, two and a half, two and a quarter fingers of head. Very cloudy, orange juice looking color. A very nice looking beer, don't you think? Very, very nice looking beer. Looks very, very tasty, uh, guys. Uh, I, am a, I am a fan of these beers. I, I don't buy a lot of imported beers. I've told you that a lot of times. Uh, because they are a little on the pricey side. And some of these uh, beers like this are low ABV beers. So uh, my go-to beers are usually seven to nine or ten percent somewhere in that range. Since I'm only allowed two or three a day now. So anyway, let's get it to the nose to see what we got. <sighs> Smells awesome, guys. I mean, I'm getting crackery malt. Maybe a hint of some oranges or lemons. A little bit of banana. It smells absolutely delicious, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone at Hacker Shore. Uh, 600 years of brewing beers. I'm pretty sure y'all got it figured out by now. Cheers. That's absolutely a pleasure to drink, guys. Alcohol is basically non-existent to me where my palate is now. Very, very pleasant, very easy drinking. To me, this is a good summertime beer, and I call these beers like lawnmower beers. Very crisp, very refreshing. Uh, if you wanted to drink multiples at five, five and a half percent, you're not going to be too inebriated. You can go back to doing what you were doing uh, and not have to worry about falling down, being ship based or anything like that. So a very easy drinking, pleasurable, well brewed, enjoyable beer, guys. Outstanding aroma. Absolutely delicious. And we're going to get off any goodies that's in the bottom of that can into the glass. I'm not seeing a whole lot of chunkiness or floaties or anything in there for an unfiltered beer. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So I think we got it all in there. Very nice looking new can for the United States. Uh, very nice, very, very nice. And that's the picture of uh, uh, the original, I think they call him George. I've seen that somewhere. It may have been on Beer Advocate. Yeah, George Shore, in his day, owner of the Shore Brewery. Uh, so, uh, very, very nice. And these guys uh, do a bunch of different uh, styles of beers, uh, mostly German styles, uh, uh, Hefeweizens, and, and uh, a lot of low ABV, easy drinking beer guys. Uh, so, uh, very nice. Uh, I knew it was going to be, uh, when I opened up the box and seen what it is, I said, it's going to be a tasty beer. It's going to be a tasty beer. Uh, 600 years? I mean, that's longer than the Pilgrim, uh, well, maybe 1492 when Columbus set sail. So, uh, pretty much as long as there's been settlers here, and not the Native Americans in, in the United States, but uh, from Christopher Columbus on up. Uh, so, uh, long time. Long, long, long time. So, uh, Pretty sure they know what they're doing, and I would agree there. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. So let me sip on this. We'll come back and give it a grade. A very impressive uh, Weiss beer. 
All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for about uh, 30 minutes or so. Uh, outstandingly, outstandingly tasty beer in this style. Again, 600 years of brewing, they got it figured out, guys. If you're looking for an uh, ultimate tasting wheat beer with the banana and crackery malt and hints of uh, citrusy orange and lemon, uh, this is it. So, uh, very uh, enjoyable beer. Uh, so, uh, definitely worth picking up in worldwide distribution from these guys. You can get it here in the United States uh, and you're going to get a quality beer. Uh, they don't use any funky ingredients, adjuncts, or anything like that. I'm pretty damn sure that it's done uh, under the, the purity law, the Bavarian purity law where all the thing that they can put in it is water, hops, yeast, and barley. Nothing else. So, final joke. Absolutely delicious, guys. To me, guys, this is an A beer. I'm going to give it a 98. It is uh, very impressive, very well made outstanding tasting beer. If you say, oh my God, it's 100, I would not argue with that. I don't normally drink these lower ABB beers, but I am very happy to see when the, they send them to me or someone sends them to me because you're getting a quality beer. So I uh, don't want to go on and on about it. Very tasty. Definitely worth picking up if you like this style of beer. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 92 outstanding. I think it's better than a 92, guys. Uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 3.68. What? I'm usually more in agreement with Untapped than Beer Advocate, but not on this one. 3.68. I mean, what are you expecting that you're going to give that kind of a, a grade on a beer? It didn't blow your hair back or your socks off or take you in the back room and give you oral sex. What the hell is going on? I don't understand that, guys. I mean, if you're if, if you're going to give this beer that grade, you bought the wrong beer. You don't like this style of beer. So, just my humble, honest opinion. So, we've got both the grades. you got my grade on it, guys. I think it's an outstanding beer in, in, in this style. So, and as we, you may have noticed in the fridge, uh, I pulled everything that I have left to review and put it in the fridge in there. Everything is out of the cellaring fridge downstairs and everything is out of the closet upstairs. Everything is in the fridge to be reviewed and when they are done, it is done. Uh, unless something else shows up, I will review them, but if not, uh, if something does show up, I will start posting reviews again. We probably got about 10 or so beers left in there. Uh, to review some sexual chocolate from Foothills, uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to those. We're gonna start doing them, and, and like I said, when it's when it's when it's complete, it's complete. So, uh, and uh, if something else shows up, I will come get back on and start posting uh, more reviews. But if it doesn't, by the time all these are done, it will subside for a while. So. With that being said, uh, if you've had the new Hacker Shore in the can, the Weiss beer, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.